Hi, this is Dan Brunton with the Intel Corporation, and in this video, I'll be going over how you can use Intel Endpoint Management Assistant to manage devices in your environment. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the cool features we have for being able to manage devices using Intel Endpoint Management Assistant. First thing I'd like to point out is that you don't have to have an Intel vPro system to be able to use Intel Endpoint Management Assistant. We do support managing devices at a software level when the operating system is up and has a network connection. As you can see here, I've got a Microsoft Surface Book that I can manage just as easily through firewalls as I could with a system at a hardware level. But again, if you have an Intel vPro platform, that's where some of the magic happens with that out-of-band access to the system. And we're just going to take a look at an example of how that works here with this Intel NUC that I have because we love our Intel NUCs. So when I bring up the device page for this, we can see a few things. One, that the system is powered on. We see that the software agent is connected, and we also see that this device is connected via client initiated remote access to our MS server. In this case, the device I'm managing is actually located on a different network attached to a consumer broadband connection and then talking to our Intel Endpoint Management Assistant instance that's running up on the cloud. Here you can see we have a number of tabs at the top of the screen. We have Intel AMT, Desktop, Terminal, Files, Processes, and WMI. Let's start with the Intel AMT tab. This is where all this cool hardware level manageability happens. So when I click on the tab here, initially you'll see some basic information about the system, such as uh, firmware versions that it's running, that it's powered on and plugged in, and I have some basic capabilities to be able to turn certain features or functions on and off. And let's go and take a look at the fun stuff, and that's the remote desktop tab. Uh, this is sometimes also known as KVM remote control, and this is where I can actually go through and manage devices, again, at a hardware level, just like I was in front of it. So this is that same kind of experience you've always had with software management, but at a hardware level. And to demonstrate that, I'm going to go ahead and actually reboot this system. And with software-based management tools, once the operating system stops running, management stops with that, and you have to ask the person what's happening over the phone. What's going on? Can you read me the error message? You don't have to worry about that with Intel Active Management Technology. Here I'm able to go through, reboot the system, watch it post, and come up through the entire process. So if there's any kind of errors popping up here, I'd have a chance to see those again, just like I was in front of the system itself. In this case, it's just going to load Windows back up normally, and we'll be able to go through, watch our end user log back in, help them with any other problems they have. So that's the basic idea with Intel Out of Band Management Technology and Intel AMT. We have the ability to manage these devices at a hardware level in ways that we're not able to with software-based agents on their own. So now we've had a quick preview of what we can do with Intel Active Management Technology. Let's take a look at some of the other tabs we have here. Let's we'll start with the Desktop tab. So this brings up the same remote control experience you just saw with Intel AMT, but at a software level. There's a little bit of a performance benefit you get to running these things in software, so things work a little smoother. So again, if the system is up and running, you can always use the Desktop tab to get a little faster experience, but if you need to reboot the system, do anything else, You've got the great options of doing remote desktop inside of Intel AMT, and leveraging that KVM remote control use case where you can watch the system reboot and do all your diagnostics just like you're in front of it. Uh, the terminal option gives us the ability to bring up a terminal where we can interface with the EMMA agent and even go so far as to bring up a command prompt if we want to. Uh, the files menu lets you go through and bring up a connection to the file system in the remote box to be able to go through and copy files back and forth. And again, this works through firewalls without having to have the system VPNed in. And that's a great example of where the files and uh, desktop use case can come into play. Let's say there's a scenario where I have a, a customer of mine whose VPN software is no longer working. I could use the files menu to upload a new VPN application or a new VPN certificate to that person's computer, to come back to the desktop screen, connect back up. Again, this is all happening over the internet. I don't have to have a connection back to the corporate network. Update the VPN software, ensure that they're able to get a connection back again uh, to the office and get back to work. The processes in WMI tab do kind of what you uh, think they would do. So from processes, I can view a list of processes on the computer, again, at the software level through the agent, launch or terminate processes. Likewise, with WMI, I can go through and run WMI queries against that system remotely. Well, this concludes the demonstration of the capabilities of Intel Endpoint Management Assistant. Thanks for watching and I look forward to talking to you more about this.